Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 137 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. Uh, since last time, I went ahead and uh, cleaned up my inventory a little bit, vendored a few items that we didn't need, stuff like that, and I got us some more supplies. So we now have 85 campfires, 104 infused charms, which should be good for a while. And I went ahead and picked up 50 of these keen charms. Now these increase our critical chance by a random amount. And I figure... Oh, okay, there's already a campfire. Whoops. So we'll go ahead and use infused charms uh, and get that on and use a keen charm as well. So we got a minor infused. We're going to want something better than that. We got minor keen, so... Hmm. We'll try for a better team charm as well. And we've got minor infused again. Uh, still minor team. Oh well. Uh, but greater infused. So we'll stick with that for now. But with any luck, that uh, should help to give us more critical hits, I guess. Um, a higher chance to get critical hits on our abilities. Uh, I was kind of up in the air over picking those or picking the kinds that increase our power, uh, but I figure critical hits are good. I, I like critical hits, so we'll, we'll try that. Alright, so looks like these Tholson Destroyers are another group of guys that have uh, little ones with them, so they shouldn't be too bad. Wow, I don't know if that's the Keen Charm helping us, or if these guys just aren't very strong, but uh, that, that guy just got annihilated. Let's uh, let's try this again. I want to get our speed up. And unfortunately, we might end up taking out some cows in the process. There we go. Good. Wow, these are uh, not bad. And killing them more quickly definitely helps us to keep our mana up because we have to expend fewer uh, fewer spells and whatnot to achieve the same goal. So that's pretty exciting. Alright. Bam. Nice. Alright. We are uh, we're just flying through them, so let's keep going. Uh, yeah, so this is this is pretty exciting. We'll finish up this enemy's supplies, and then this is probably the last one at this camp above the forge. Then we'll uh, we'll likely head down into the forge and get more quests down in there. Up, oh, and we aggro another group. There we go. Um, Alright, let's try that. Blast them. We gotta keep our shields up in order to uh, mitigate the damage. But fortunately, the polykind are dropping off easily. And this big guy we can take down. There we go. Nice. Another group down. Looks like we're about halfway through this quest, so we will keep fighting. It's definitely easier when you take out all the polykine right in the beginning uh, with one big blast. Nice. I suspect that uh, if we get something like a greater keen charm on us, or yeah, a greater keen charm, It'll definitely help our crit rate a lot and make us a lot stronger. The nice thing is that it's supplementing with something that we already kind of did fine, I think. Um, we were already dishing out a decent amount of damage, so supplementing that just makes us move that much quicker, and it's really a win-win. As opposed to, like, when we were running out of mana, and then we were using the charms to fix a problem. This is this is just purely profit. Alright. Bam. 
Bam. There we go. We are we are so out of mana. Even with this greater infused, we ran out of mana. Hm. Alright, let's go ahead and regen so that we can get up back to a reasonable amount. There we go. And since there are more of these polykind and whatnot over here, we will well we'll actually take on these guys on the hillside. Since they're a little more uh, separated from the rest of them. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Alright. I love when they drop uh, white and green items. They vendor for so much. It's very, very nice to be able to pick up some extra money that way. Alright, so we'll... Uh, We'll dash back over to this little uh, castle thing here, and we should be able to turn this in. And then I think our next quest is taking us to see Croc, who is at a, I believe, based on the fact that there's a little flag there, some sort of a camp at the, uh, it looks like it's kind of inside the forge, so we'll have to go, go check that out. We'll probably go through the bottom area. It looks like there's two paths, so at least from the map, that's what it appears to be. Alright, turn that one in. We're good to go. And now, yeah, okay, if we go back across this bridge, I see there's a path down over there. Okay. So that's where we want to head, rather than trying to jump directly down, which we probably could do, but, oh, no, no we can't. That would kill us. Even if we could jump off of that edge, it would kill us. We can't run straight through there, apparently. At least... Oh. The hitbox around those uh, rocks is a little irritating. Apparently I can't run through them. Alright. So here we go. This, uh, this looks like the right way. Into the spooky... spooky area. I think, I think this is the right way. If we don't find the camp, we'll have to loop around the top. And... Huh. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll fight through some of these guys. Ha ha ha, take that. Bam, bam, bam. They don't stand a chance. Alright, uh... Forge thing. More magma and grapes and stuff. All right, well, we'll run down the hall here and see if uh, see if our camp isn't off on the right. I'm I'm worried it might be sort of like up on the cliffside above or something. In which case, this might be a little problematic. All right, he's gonna block our way too. Cool. Oh, there's two of them. Hello. Oh, that's perfect. We actually managed to kill the guy that we were fighting first, and our Void Pulse hit the second one. Very cool. Alright, so... Based on the map, our camp should be, like, right here. Which means that it is, in fact, up above. Alright. So let's go ahead and run back. We might be able to, like, run forward and around, but instead we're gonna head back, uh, up this way. And back across the bridge, so. My mistake. I couldn't really tell from the map where it, uh, where it was. So... We should be able to just run past these guys, too, since they... They'll try to attack us, but we can escape them. Unless they go and rage and run after us really, really fast, we'll, uh, we'll be fine. Do, do, do. We'll run up the hill here, and... Back the way we came. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, this is, uh... This is going pretty well, especially now that we've got, uh, a nice new weapon, 
new level, so higher stats base, uh, and a, you know, decent set of armor and all that. We're really moving along pretty nicely. We're currently 18% of the way through our level, uh, so making, whoa, that was, that was kind of drastic. Normally the, uh, terrain in the distance fills in pretty well before that, um, so it doesn't have that sort of, like, snap into place, so suddenly here's some mountains type of effect. I just didn't even notice it because it was up against the sky. So. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Basically, I think uh, our leveling will continue to go pretty well, and we're moving along pretty nicely, so. This should be, yeah, this is like the cliffside above where we just were. And so here we can find our camp. We got some guards and camp. Croc. Stoke the furnace. Haver, Faber. Favor, favor. Heartless beasts. Crimson pirates. And Coming storm and dead for good. Alright. So, let's see. Beast hearts. Vicious rune keepers. Malagos conquerors. Alright. Crimson fragments are along there. And Teresa's. Or Tursa's head. Alright, so we got lots of quests, but they're all sort of in the same direction. So. Oh, hey, okay. and we got. Uh, and another quest out here. There we go. How can I help? Necrotech in action. All right. Help? This shouldn't be too bad. Ah, we got uh, we got some company right out here. We probably want to take these on. One at a time. Oh, actually, just kidding. They're uh, they die pretty easily. I was gonna say we probably want to take them on one at a time, but uh, yes, not. Come on. Nice, we managed to blast him. Oh, okay. I will retaliate to that, thank you very much. Nice. I love fighting enemies with relatively low, uh, low amounts of health. Makes it so easy. Because as long as we can burst them down quickly, even enemies that damage us a lot aren't that dangerous. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so I believe that's one of those crystal things that we have to get. There are five... We gotta gather five of them. Uh, so let's see, can we... Nice, we can interact with this. Perfect. Crimson Fragment. One out of five. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's blast these guys into next Tuesday. And then hunt some more of them. I like when we need 16 or something, but they come in twos, so it's kind of like we only need eight. And they both die quickly, so that really works well for me since I use so much AoE, uh, rather than like a Lancer or something like that, but it's a little harder to dish out damage to two guys at once. And there goes two more. Nice, so we'll get three more groups of these. And some more crimson shards. Uh, that should work. Perfect. I wasn't sure if they'd stay still long enough for that, but uh, it seems to have sorted itself out. Jump back and land them. I suspect that if we let these hit us too much, they actually will dish out a pretty decent amount of damage, considering they're level 57 and they die this easily. Um, yeah, they're probably pretty dangerous. Okay. And one more group. Buff up. Oh, they aggro. Hey, they actually moved back into the uh, into the spell. Perfect. And 
And since we actually need to reapply our uh, charms here, I'm going to duck back into camp where we can do that. Because they should have a fire in here. And we can turn in our quest as well. So the Senelin for the Federation. Nice. That was a very easy quest, but it did get us a million XP, so I'm not complaining. And this will only give us a greater infused. Ah, so major couldn't apply. Got another minor keen charm. I want to try for something better than minor. Nice, we got our greater infused. And a major keen charm. All right, let's go. Let's go kick some butt. We should be able to find more crimson fragments, and we're gonna just work our way down the side here, since we gotta get beast hearts and uh, and bone piles and stuff like that. So, ah, here we go. This is the necrotech uh, one. Wow. All right. There go those guys. I feel like. Uh, it's almost a little silly, since we've sort of simultaneously gotten so many upgrades to all of our different things after hitting level 58. It's uh, it's kind of a little silly how easily we're breezing through these quests intended for 57 and 58, maybe even 59 players. But hey, that's uh, that's good for us, you know. Alright, grab that, and we need to get, oh, no, okay, that guy got it. Hey, but there's piles of bones, we can get these at least. This is good. And they're gonna attack that group, so we'll let them have them, rather than trying to fight them for it. Wow, what the heck was that? That might have been a level 60 uh, Berserker. I don't know. They seemed like they were killing stuff crazy fast. Alright. Let's go over here. Oh, not there. We don't want to conflict with them. Alright. Uh, here we go. Run into the circle, little ones. Perfect. Now, I never, uh, I don't know if we ever figured it out, but I don't know offhand if it's possible for, like, when that, uh, when that spell lands, the magma, or fire blast, I don't know if it simultaneously crits or doesn't crit on all enemies, or if it's uh, like an individual type thing where, you know, each one gets its own crit calculated. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if it crit on all of them at once, just because then you'd wipe out a whole group. And based on what we've seen in the past, I kind of suspect that's the way it works, uh, but I really don't know for sure. Alright, more Ebon Imps. It seems like they group up over time, like the older, the longer the group has been running around, sort of the older it is, the longer since it's spawned, uh, they seem to kind of group up because it's almost like they follow the big, big one, so when they've just spawned, it, they kind of spread out more. Alright. Blast him. Blast this guy. Nice. 13 out of 15 necromancy devices. So we're almost done. We do need to, uh... We do need to get this pile of bones and these... This shard. They're over there, so... We're not gonna conflict with them. Alright, making nice progress on these quests. Nice. Crimson Fragment. Two out of five. They should be all up and down this side of the map based on what I saw from the 
a little tracking thing, so it should be fine. Excellent. Another Mechanari down, another Necromancy device gathered, and those are the Sirens. We don't want to fight them. Looks like we got some, some respawned over here. Oh, there's a Monument to Kaya. Okay. I don't know if that's something for a quest or what. Maybe. Maybe it's for a quest, I don't know. Sweet. We got our Necrotech. Alright, then can we interact with this? For the glory of Kaya. Okay. Praise Kaya for turning despair into hope. It's kind of sweet. Alright. So we're done with the Mechanaris. Um, we need another body. So we'll look out for the bones. Here we go. Pile of bones. And we need this thing too. So we're going to gather uh, three more of these as we quest around here. Let's go, pile of bones. We need to be gathered. There we go. Pile of bones. Five out of five. And I see more of these, uh, see more of these things up here. If we can avoid the... Okay, we can't run around that way. That's cool. That's, uh... Oh, alright, we've got aggro. Problem. Let's get him. Bam, bam, bam. Melting the necromancers. Ha, 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 ha. Take that. Wow. They, uh... Nice, we finished off two groups of them. Very cool. And we will get this thing. And that should be five Crimson Fragments. And then we can go after Beast Hearts and Tursa's Head. So, looks like we got Malagos Conquerors down here. Oh, what the heck? These guys die like nothing. Maybe we crit on that first, uh, that first spell, because that was, that was stupid. Alright, let's try this again. Bam! Oh man. Okay, so it was probably a crit on that first spell to take them both out. Or to, to take the Runekeeper out so easily. Um, but the Runekeepers definitely die pretty easily as well, just in general, so. Awesome! Wow. This is a little silly. Alright, let's keep going. Can't stop the otter. Oh, they're both dead, okay. Alright. And we're gonna work our way down the valley here towards uh, whatever this boss type creature at the end is. There's two more down. Wow, I thought it would take us a while to gather 14 beast hearts, but uh, nope. Nope, apparently not. Into the circle. Perfect. Oh, alright. There's two more down. They kind of knocked me around a bit, but that's fine. We didn't actually take much of any damage. Oh, hey, there's the there's the thing. Okay, I guess they're killing the thing. So we will kill that in a bit. Instead, we'll kill those guys. And that 
cuts them down. Alright, so now we gotta kill... Oh, actually, we're not done with East Hearts yet. We need one more. We'll wait three seconds. There we go. And... Dead. Nice. I've been using nice a lot this episode. I need more colorful vocabulary to describe that this is a good situation and our questing is going quite expediently. So let's get Tursa. Where are you, Tursa? Ah, there you are. I got a special delivery. Bam, bam, bam. Ha, ha, ha. Take that, Tursa. And Tursa dropped something blue. We gotta kill these guys off real quick first. Which is surprisingly easy. The Rune Keepers are weird. They're like really resilient if you're fighting them on their own, or like not taking them out with the first hit. Uh, but otherwise, they die with the first hit. So, kind of a trade off. A little weird. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and head back. I want to see what that blue is that we got. Uh, level 57 Fiery Chasers. So, these are worse than our current shoes. That's, uh, that's about all. All that needs to be said about that. Less movement speed, uh, and not as awesome supplementary stats, and the stats are lower. And neither are enchantable, our current shoes, nor the blue shoes that we just found. So there's no reason to switch to them. What we will do is probably toss them up on the trade broker and see if we can sell them. Worst case, we can always just vendor them, but trade broker's usually a better option since people will buy them. Alright, Necrotech in action. Done. Dead for good. Done. And... Done. 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 Alright. We've achieved some like it cold. What is this? We got cold-blooded. Nice. I mean, awesome. Sorry I mocked you, Big. You're truly a mighty sorcerer. Uh, except... Alright, so now we gotta find Tarot, and he should be down this way. So we'll probably find... No, that's, that's not the way. This way. So we'll find Tarot, see what he's up to, and then this will probably be where we leave off. So liberating our land, good. And then we'll pick up our new quests. Except... Except, and good, and there we go. So, looks like we've got, I'm going to check our quest log here. Uh, these are all solo quests, which is awesome. And they're all in the Plane of the Dam slash Furnace area. So, General Virkian, uh, the Reavers, actually... Not sure where they are, but we'll find them. We'll go through here and find them. So, if you're curious, we are at 28.42%, uh, so more than a quarter of the way to our next level. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. We'll continue to explore this area. Bye!